For the next character, you're going to notice that this character has a lot of little separate pieces. For example, if we zoom in, we have these extra little lines here for the hands. Um, we have separate shapes for the toes, additional lines as well. There are a lot of like impression lines, and those are created by using your pen tool. Clicking and dragging and kind of making the line, but just leaving it to be a line by itself. Okay, I'll show you what that means. I'm going to steal this color. I don't want a stroke, I just want the fill. So I want a line like this, where it's just the stroke, right? And then I can also use my width tool to kind of pull some of these lines a little thicker and thinner, which is something that's done to give like um, depth. Same thing with all these little lines on the, the fingers here. So I'm just making little lines. The beige part is the overall shape, but all the little things that go inside the shape are just strokes with no fill and I'm not being super precious about it because it's going to overlap but I am going to go back and tweak these all with my width tool because it's going to make it look better. Now I want to draw the hand with the pen tool. I'll have all the little indentation lines I need. Now because I drew all those extra little black lines it actually looks like fingers. Now if I had, didn't have these shapes it would just look like a blob of beige. So I'm going to cut them for a second so you can see. Right, I lose all the dimensions of the character's hands. So it's really good to make those lines with just your black stroke. And then kind of make them look like they belong with the overall bigger shape. In this case, the hand. And that's going to be for a lot of this character here. Including like the nose and things like that. So I'm going to build him little by little. And piece by piece basically. A lot of pencil work with this guy. As for the shirt, you can draw the star out, or you can even take the star tool and can soften the edges. So if I took the star, and then I took my direct selection tool, because there is a star tool, I can kind of soften these edges to look like the star that's on his shirt. Just steal that yellow, and just kind of pull it to match. It might be a little quicker this way. I'm not being really precious about the shirt because it's going to go behind quite a bit. The only thing I'm going to be a little picky about is the sleeve part. But everything else is going to go behind things, so it doesn't really matter where those lines look like. I'm only going to worry about the parts that are showing, which is the bottom part of the stomach, right over the jeans as well. Okay, I'm going to steal the color. Right now it looks a little crazy. I'm going to start sending it backwards. I'm using control um, bracket. The first bracket, the left bracket, and that sends things backwards little by little. So I have a little more control here of how this looks. Then I can start making his pants. That black line is going across his pants. I can just draw with the pen tool. It has a stroke. Again, no fill. And then I'll use my width tool to make part of it a little thicker. Part of it tapered in just like the drawing shows. Again, to use the width tool, you just click and drag on the points you want thicker and thinner. The toes and the shoes, anything that has a black line around it should be a closed shape. For example, the first toe here has a black line all the way around it, so this shape is definitely closed. Let's match his skin tone. Okay. Um, and then this toe, the rest of his toes here look like they're one large shape with those extra little lines. So. I'm going to draw the basic shape that I'm seeing. Um, it looks like both feet are the same. They're just flipped. So if you'd like to save yourself time, you can highlight the foot you made, group it, and then flip it by going to Object, Arrange, and I'm sorry, Object, Transform, and Reflect. If I don't like the way shapes are not overlapping, like I don't like this little gap I have, I can intentionally overlap them a little bit. Take my shape builder tool and select both of them and get rid of this little sliver. I just have to make sure they're actually overlapped. I don't think this is overlapped enough. Now it should work. If I hold alt with the shape builder, you see how I get that? I won't get those little gaps. I'm going to do the same thing with the teeth section. Overlap them, shape builder, and then just like hit that alt key and that way I have like really precise lines. 
And when you get to the nose, I would highly recommend you take your pen tool, you draw this shape, and this time, you know how I'm always saying, oh, no fill. Actually, make the fill this beige color. It'll block off the eye you draw behind it. And we don't need to show it as of yet. I'm going to draw the nostrils as just two black lines that I thicken with the width tool. Completed all the little elements of this character. You're going to select it all, group it, object group, and move it over to the section where it says medium on the side to show me what you've created.